During this whole COVID-19 pandemic, we've been tossing an awful lot of numbers at you every day. Cases, deaths, recoveries, 14 day trends. It can be confusing. And that's why we're asking which aspects of this data you want us to clarify. Last night, we received this comment. We would like to know how many active cases and not just totals. Thank you. Right now, neither the state nor health districts track active cases. And the reason, about 40,000 Idahoans have been tested. That's only about 2% of the entire population. With people able to carry COVID-19 without showing any symptoms, that's a difficult number to track. So we're looking at the active cases from the state's available data. Let's begin with the total caseload. 2,506, which is both confirmed and probable. Confirmed meaning you've tested positive for COVID-19, while probable means you haven't tested positive, but you show symptoms and you've come in close contact with someone who is a confirmed case. From there, subtract 1,765. That's the number of deaths and presumable recoveries. Now, even though those two numbers are completely different categories, neither fall into the active category. Recoveries are defined as those who tested positive and are still alive 30 days since they first showed symptoms. That's according to the Department of Health and Welfare. So if we take away the deaths and the recoveries from the total caseload, you'll get 741 as the number of active cases. These numbers, as you know, change every single day. And we should mention again, this isn't a stat being tracked by health and welfare, but we know there are 741 cases of people confirmed or probable and have not died or recovered. 